Welcome to Free Your Mind, a guided and experiential daily practice designed to dissolve past programming and expand your awareness of who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and separation. Let's begin. This is a holy instant. Begin to rest and relax. An instant to stop and remember. Take a deep breath and close your eyes as you exhale. Remember who you truly are. Begin to breathe more slowly and more deeply with your attention on your heart. You are not limited, but unlimited. Not mortal, but timeless. Not weak, but powerful beyond all measure. You are not the body, not even the mind. The reason that you don't experience the truth of who you are is only because you are dreaming. The core of the dream is the sense of identity that it offers you. An identity which appears to experience lack, conflict, and fear. This matrix dream character self is the self you assume you are based on your past and your conditioning. Beyond this matrix self is your true and original self which can't be conceptualized, but it can be experienced. So take a deep breath, and as you exhale, open your awareness to this holy instant now. An instant of investing your energy and attention to make contact with your unconditional freedom. Feel into it now. Feel into the frequency of your true self and use this guided experience to expand your awareness beyond the limits of your current reality. God is my source. I cannot see apart from the infinite creator. Repeat this idea slowly and feel into its meaning. God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. I am sourced in God in the one infinite creator. That's where I proceed from now, in this very moment. I cannot see apart from him because I cannot be apart from him. Perception is not an attribute of God. His is the realm of knowledge. Perception, seeing, is only possible within the dream matrix because it requires two, the perceiver and the perceived. In oneness, there is only knowing through being. You can only know something truly by being it. Otherwise you are perceiving it and thus knowing something about it, but only conceptually and not directly. For example, to know a cat is to be a cat. 
That is the only way that you can actually know Katniss. Likewise, to know a tree is to be a tree. There is no other way of knowing treeness. All else is a conceptual framework of knowing about from the outside. And likewise, to know God is to be God. There is no other way of knowing. So while perception is not an attribute of God, he has created a mediator between knowledge and perception. This mediator has been called by many names through many times. The inner teacher, the guru, the guide, the intuition, the inspiration, or as we'll call it here, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Without this link between your dream state and God's reality, perception would have replaced knowledge forever in your mind. It's like your dream at night. Imagine falling asleep into a dream. And as you know, in dreams, you become identified with the happenings and the characters of the dream. So it is very much like falling asleep into a dream and forgetting entirely about who you are in truth. And with that dream having no ending, you will have lost yourself to the dream. And nowhere in the dream would you be able to find yourself again because you are not in the dream. You are the one dreaming it. Likewise, with God's creation, having fallen asleep into this dream matrix, without a link connecting us back to the awareness of who and what we truly are, we would be lost in the dream forever. But through this link with God, the Holy Spirit, the Guru, the inner teacher, perception will become so changed and purified that it will lead to knowledge. This is the function of perception as the Holy Spirit sees it. Therefore, that is the function of perception in truth. This means that by following the Holy Spirit's guidance, by following the guidance of your inner teacher, which is a part of your mind that is aware both of the dream and your reality, your true self outside and beyond the dream, Coming back to our earlier example of the nightly dream, imagine that that dream that you have at night becomes so transformed to look almost like your waking state. You look around and you see your room, you see all of the familiar objects, and suddenly you become aware that you remember this, that this was somehow a part of you. There's something so familiar about it. And right at that very moment, 
you wake up. That is the way that the Holy Spirit is going to use perception to transform it into such a reflection of holiness that you will remember the qualities of your true self and awaken to them at last. This is the meaning that the inner teacher gave to perception that it may become a means for restoring the truth about you to your awareness. This healed perception or true perception as we might call it becomes the means by which you forgive all of your relationships to others and to the world and thus you learn to forgive yourself. This eliminates guilt and shame and fear from your mind and restores you to the awareness of your holiness, which is your wholeness and innocence. You cannot see apart from God because you cannot be apart from God. Whatever you do, you do in God because whatever you think, you think with God's mind. So if vision is real, and vision meaning true perception beyond the illusion of separation, then it is real to the extent to which it shares the purpose of the Holy Spirit. And so it is that you cannot see apart from God because perception itself shares God's purpose of restoring you to your awareness of your true self. Let's practice. Begin by gently opening your eyes. And as you glance around yourself now, apply the idea specifically to what you see. Some four or five subjects for this part of the practice are sufficient. For example, God is my source. I cannot see this window apart from him. God is my source. I cannot see this water bottle apart from her. Continue on your own. Do this now. Gently close your eyes again and repeat the idea very slowly to yourself. God is my source. I cannot see apart from her. And now simply step back and invite whatever related thoughts that may occur to you to add to the idea in your own personal way. Thoughts such as, I see through the eyes of forgiveness. I see the world as blessed. 
I see my own holiness reflected back to me. Or any thought related more or less directly to today's idea is suitable. These thoughts do not need to bear an obvious relationship to the idea, but they should not be in opposition to it. And if you should find your mind wandering, if you begin to be aware of thoughts which are clearly out of accord with the idea, or if you seem to be unable to think of anything, simply open your eyes again and repeat the first phase of this practice, and then come back again to the second phase. Do not allow any extended period of time to occur in which you become preoccupied with irrelevant thoughts. Return to the first phase as often as necessary to prevent this. And now for the next four minutes or so, simply step back into the space of awareness and let whatever related thoughts come into your mind. Do this now.
And as you come to a completion of this practice period, repeat the idea one more time to yourself. God is my source. I cannot see apart from Him. And on your next inhale, take a deep, slow, and full breath in all the way to the top and hold it. Hold it as you integrate today's practice into the depth of your being. And as you exhale now, relax and release. Remember to take this idea with you into the rest of the day. It should be applied as often as possible, reminding you of your decision, your choice to awaken. If there is some form of temptation that occurs to you that tempts you to react and be upset with any situation, use this form to apply today's idea. God is my source. I cannot see this apart from Him. Try today not to allow long periods of time to slip by without remembering the idea and thus remembering your true function. Thank you for investing your time and energy into your awakening and making contact with your true self. true self.